Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sunday. In the last episode, we... Whoa, okay, sorry. I didn't click on the game. I was like, wait, why isn't it working? Uh, in the last episode, we basically made our way uh, to the beat the fine gym, and now we gotta figure out how we gotta get the other lady to want to fight us, because she doesn't want to. And it's kind of sad and mean and rude. So now we're going to basically keep on looking for some guy so we can force them to battle me. I'm not sure, honestly. Anyways, let's take out the Slazzle. And that'll be good. Dun dun dun. Morgrim. Morgrim. That's this thing, right? Okay. You're very dark. Why did my game stop working? Um, very dark. Very dark. Very dark. Let's go into Venom. Go for a poison type attack. Play rough. Ow. I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. Oh, that did nothing. Never mind. And we got poisoned. Haha. <laughs> Loser. Little jerk. Let's go for that poison tail. Bam. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Morgan fainted. Acelio. Oh. Um. Just saying Scott in this one. Go Scott. Let's go for a seed bomb. Bam. Perfect. One shot. That's what I like to see. Easy HP. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. And you want to fight too. You can start a battle, but can you end it? That's a great question. That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know the answer to it. Maybe. Possible. Shadow Bone. Throw you out. Oh, it's so close. Rock Slide. Okay. That's cool. Let's go for Aerial Ace. We should definitely not put Spook at that front. Really should just take him away from the front spot. <laughs> Um, Rotom, send Venom, no, he's Levitate, that was useless, yeah, no, that doesn't make any sense, Fridge Form, oh, um, go for Steamroller, I guess, that didn't really do much at all, cool, got Shockwave, just keep going, I guess, bum, 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 one more, Flinch, nice, one more Steamroller, should do the trick, almost, not quite, just gonna go for Shockwave again, that does a lot of damage, but no, we're fine. We're fine. We're making our way. We're taking him out. Nice. I forget. Does he still have a levitate when he goes into another form? I forget, honestly. An Ursa Ring. Um, chili. Bear versus bear. It's a bear fight. It's a bear fight. Let's go for that brick break. Boom. Easy KO. Quite easy indeed. Perfect. Ah, oh, you finished that nicely. Yes, yes I did. Oh, you didn't give me like no money though, lady. That's nice of you. The night sky is alive. I mean, yeah, yeah it is. Lunatone. Okay. Send out Spooketh. I forgot to not have him out front. That was like the one thing I said I wouldn't do, and I did anyways, because I'm a genius. What? Why that do? It's not very effective. Are you not psychic type anymore? What type are you? Are you part light type now? I think I read that. Actually, I think you are part light type now. Go for Stone Edge. Ow. That is fine. We're just gonna go for Seed Bomb. Take you out. Perfect. Easy KO. And Soul Rock. Okay. Yeah, I think you're part Light types now, if I remember reading that correctly. There we go. Stone Edge. I shouldn't do that much. No. You're apparently stronger than Lunatone, which is interesting. I didn't know that. Did not know that. I don't know their stats, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know Lunatone or uh, Soul Rock stats, so. Too well, so. Oh, these were just Volpeat. Um, those are not Volpeat, but okay. Let's put you up front. And then we're gonna heal you up. With something. What do we have? We got Potion. We got Hyper Potion. Use one of those. Use one of those. There we go. Now let's head down here. Okay, head down here. So it looks like there's different paths. Alley switch, okay. Not a terrible move, not a great move. Um, I don't even know what alley switch does to be honest, <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, it switches with your ally, that's right. So I do know what it does, but it's not useful to me. Um, Raindrop, send you out. Volcarona is kind of scary, just a little bit. Fire spin. Yikes, okay. 
Swear to own a rock type move would be very helpful, but we do not own one, so. Um, let's go for Scald. Very nice. Whirlwind, but it failed. Ha, huh, because we have Fire Spin, you dummy. Why would he go for a Whirlwind and then Fire Spin? I mean, Fire Spin and the Whirlwind. That doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Don't know what you're thinking, Volcarona. Or trainer, person, person, trainer. Um, yeah. Level 51, not bad. And a Stuffle. A Stuffle. Um, Venom. We'll send you out. Why not? I don't see any problem with that. Let's go for a Poison Tail. That did nothing. Cool. I feel like Earthquake will do more damage. So let's go for an Earthquake. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, it does. Okay. But Thrash is taking me out because apparently Stuff was strong as hell. Okay. That's cool. Seven. Come on out. Um, let's go for a quick attack. There we go. Taking you out. Bug catcher. Frost Moth. Frost Moth. Ice. Bug. Actually, I kind of want to see what you got, my little guy. He's going for Blizzard. That's. This is a Frost Moth. That's going to hurt. Yeah. Not very smart of me. That was not very smart of me. <laughs> um, Chili, coming out. Go for Laser Claw. Tailwind. Oh, now you're going to be. I mean, you're already faster than me, though. So. That was kind of useless. Mm. Took him out just fine. Nice. But not strong enough, no. No, it's not. Just not quite strong enough, you know. It's always just not quite strong enough. A rare candy. Nice. We're getting a ton of those. And TMO 101 cut. Okay. We can battle you, but I don't want to. So, yeah. I said it. <laughs> Max Repel. Okay. And you must be that guy. Oh, hi. Yes, I'm the commissioner of the Pokemon League. What can I help you with? A gym leader refusing a challenger? That's troubling. Sinope is known to be the strong head, but I would never heard her refusing to take on a challenger. Why is it she won't challenge you? She switched it to Sadek, even though you barely know him? I see. Well, that makes sense. You see, Cupson, there's a bit of schism amongst the gym leaders and the strong trainers in Karaki. Every so often, the Pokemon League hosts an invitational tournament. The winner of the tournament is the challenge to leave for. The strongest trainer in Crocky are invited to this tournament, and of course, that includes the gym leaders. Sedek is one of the strongest trainers in Crocky, and he's a frequent participant in the tournament as well. The past few tournaments, there have been some further unfortunate accusations of matching, fixing, and sabotaging. It's good for sure this all reflected rather poorly on the league, and well, me, I've been investigated as the best in my ability, and it seems like Sedek, Sinope, and a few others may be involved, though I'm not sure of any roles. Protoxy Zodiac has created some drama by accusing her of sabotage and thus your affiliation with them as draw or ire. Price of Fight Company explain the situation, so no people battle you. I'll meet you with Lithium's town. Awesome. Okay. Um cool. How do I I can get out of here now? Basically. <laughs> yeah. I would take on the rest of the trainers, but I'm lazy and don't want to do that. Um So yeah, so let's fly over to Lithium Town now. Heal up. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you for waiting. We should Pokemon for health. Thank you. And let's head on in. And go say hello to that little lady again. Oh, you, what the hell are you doing back in my gym? Kamish, what's the meaning of all this? Sinope, I understand you have concerns about facing this trainer. Because there's an understanding commission. He's working with Sadek. Did you expel the dirty rat from the competitions yet? Now, Sinope, Kepson assures me there are no connections to Sadek. And besides, there's no hard evidence yet of any sabotage. Don't you think maybe it's possible that a fairy type specialist like Sadek will... Maybe he can beat you fair and square. You think Sadek stands a chance against me in a fair fight? Have you forgotten who you're talking to, Kamish? It's a well-established fact that I'm the strongest challenge gym leader in Karaki. You think Sadek stands even a silver of a chance? Perhaps I need to remind you of my power commission. Captain, you want a gym bout? You got it. Well, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> in a fair nape, right off the bat. That's um, this is a great start off for Scott here. Um, you could go for dig. It's got fire punch. That's gonna take me out. <laughs> yeah, we're not living that. Um, okay, let's see. I, I'm really not suited for this battle, like, at all. Um, 
yeah fire punch it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt even though he's bulky in defense it's gonna hurt because it's an infernape it is an infernape fire punch at me so just keep going for aerial ace take him out good okay that's good to know i'm a champ uh, i'm gonna stay in level 53 oh my god Keep going for your release though, because that's the best we got, you know. Stone Age, uh, that might take me out. Oh, yeah, okay. That's fair. Um, raindrop, come on. Let's go for an air cutter. We're faster, nice. Took him out, nice. Okay. As long as we outspeed everyone, we should be good. I hope. Terrakion. Terrakion. Okay. Scald. He's faster, but he missed the stone edge. Good. Nice. Okay. If we get one more scald off, we should be good. Come on. Miss it again. No. Okay. That's taking out. I see. Yeah. Okay. That didn't go as planned. Um. Hmm. 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 Then, um. Go for an earthquake. Did not miss that. That's great. Okay, this Trachyon is a bit of an issue. Just a tiny one. Not a big one. Not really. Um, bag. Um, revive. Scott. Take me out. I dare you. Yeah. Sorry, Seven. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Alright, let's see, Scott, take you out, I mean, yeah, we're gonna send you out. Let's go for a C-bomb, we are not faster. I really thought we'd be faster, um, so I think we're gonna lose this fight. I don't really have any way of taking out the Terrakion, um, unless we stall, which I might just do, because Stone Edge only has 5 PP, so I think that might just be the best way to do things, just stall out him and yeah i'll send a raindrop again sacred sword ow Ooh, bear tick chillin he is chillin okay um yeah if he runs out of stone edge then he can't hurt spooka so i'm gonna revive spooka as well attack mist nice chilly coming in clutch here <laughs> he knows what to do um medicine potion Spook ifs, heal him up. He's going for close combat. Okay. That was to be expected. So he has one more. I think he has one more stone edge left. Which is reasonable. Very reasonable. Um, so we're going to send Spook it there. And let's go for a shadow bone. Sword stance. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we should be good as long as he doesn't hit me with something unexpected. Nope, full restore. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really look like he can do much with Taraki on here, so that's good to know. It's out of PP. Can't hurt me, so yeah, he can only use full restore it, so that's good at least. Go for one Shadow Bone, Sword Stance. Yeah, you can't touch me. That's good to know. That is great to know. Alright, Terrakion, thank goodness you only have 5 PP so I could just stall you out. <laughs> Toxicroak, yeah, let's stand. Go for a Aerial Ace. Nice. Fling, Toxic Orb, ow. Super effective. Oh, we're badly poisoned. Great, okay. Um, Aerial Ace should take you out though, and then you should have one more Pokemon, I believe. Level 52, nice. That poison's gonna be annoying. Uh, a Makuhita. A Makuhita. A Makuhita. Your last Pokemon is a Makuhita. Really? You've gotta be kidding me. Why do you have a Makuhita and not a Hariyama? 
Erg. Captain, here's the Sinnoh badge. Yes, we got all the badges. Let's go. You seem strong enough. You probably don't need to cheat your way through the Pokemon League. Hmm. <laughs> Just take this and go. Low sweep. Okay, cool. Congratulations, Captain. With all the badges, you officially have an invitation complete in the Pokemon League. There should be a tournament soon in Gold City, so head on down. It would be a great opportunity to get to see you. All right, so let's head on down there, I guess, you know. I didn't expect this the series coming too close soon. They're very close. A lot sooner than I expected. <laughs> um, and we still don't have a Dust Stone. So that's great to know. That is great. I'm going to have to... I might just travel all around to see if I can find it. Honestly, off screen. Like, that's probably what I'm going to end up having to do. Just look everywhere. Far and wide. But anyways, let's head on over to Gold City. So we can... Look at the tournament, you know? So why not? We are here, and can we enter? Uh, there's APO tournaments hosted here one day. I hope to compete. Yep. And it's on. Damn, okay. Are you here to watch the Pokemon League tournament? You're a competitor. Amazing. Can I get your autograph? I mean, no. Um, and is it on our last Pokemon? Fist Queen, no! Fist Queen's unable to battle. Rache wins. Unless you have the race, a lovely display of sportsmanship as we complete our first matchup in the first round. Stay tuned, folks. There are a lot more exciting battles on the way. Gym leaders collide. Top trainers take revenge for previous losses. And most exciting all, we have two newcomers to the tournament. You just watched Rich eliminate everyone's favorite gym leader, Lucidia. Got up soon, the trainer with no memory of the past, Kepson. Hello, Kepson. Did you join the first battle? Race certainly had his way with Lucidia. He only had to use two of his Pokemon. Are you excited for your first matchup? N what? You don't even know who you're battling or the rules of the tournament. My goodness, I'm glad I ran into you. You're just in a few minutes. So here's how it works. The top five trainers in Karaki have organized a group called the Elite Four. The gym champion who is recognized as Karaki's best. The Elite Four would be constantly overrun with challenges. Everyone wants a shot to be at the top. In other, re in other regions, the Elite Four will usually take on trainers with eight badges by certified gym leaders. However, the Elite Four have found that there are too many trainers meeting this qualification. So they appointed me to host the Pokemon League tournament. Here we have an elimination style tournament. 16 trainers, four runs. But when you advance, if you lose, you must wait until the next tournament to get another chance to challenge the Elite Four. Now, follow me over to see the draw. You can find the draw here. Between rounds, you have a chance to briefly recuperate here and have your Pokemon healed. However, you cannot leave the premise. The rounds are too close together for that. So why don't you take a draw? look at the draw? Round one. Dun 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 Okay, I don't really care. Looks like you're battling Amethia. Good luck. If you're off to organize the other competitors when you're ready to battle, meet me at the elevator. So I can't leave the premise. But I just left the premise. <laughs> nice. Um, okay. So I think I'm going to end this episode off here. I know it's a short one, but in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Pokemon League and probably get it all done in one, one thing. So let's see it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.